Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna do an AR video. We have a Anderson uh, AR-15. It's not, it's nothing spectacular at all. Very cheap build. We put it together with parts that we had laying around the house from other uh, parts that we had that we didn't like. Like we changed something out on an AR and ended up with a big ass box of parts. So we're gonna shoot it with a load rounded up with pistol powder in place of rifle powder. We're gonna use a CFE pistol in place of CFE 223, which are, I really like the whole CFE line. I love those powders. I use them for a lot of things. But it's got a sight mark red dot on it and we don't run this on anything. Uh, we've had it for a while. People talk about how junky sight marks are. I just want to find out about that too. So we're going to see if it withstands a uh, detonation from a uh, overloaded round. And if it does, we're going to do some more testing on it. And that'll be a different video. If something happens to this gun, it's not a loss. We have others, a couple others. Uh, so we'll take her out and we'll see what she does. We got rifle powder on the right, pistol powder on the left. Both 27 grains. Just by looking at them, it's really hard to tell the two apart. All right, so we got the pistol powder, 223. We're gonna put it in the uh, do not shoot box, which we keep locked up. So it doesn't get mixed in with our other load of ammunition. And we are back. It wasn't that bad. I mean, it did tear the gun up. It, the upper is toast now. It tore the upper receiver up. The barrel extension and the, well, the chamber and uh, the bolt face were smashed up pretty good. And, but the sight mark held up. So I got some more tests going for this sight mark red dot. I keep hearing their garbage and crap. It still works. Not sure if it held zero because I can't shoot the gun again. It's kind of, you know, dead. Uh, the magazine blew apart. Like it blew up really nice. I'm not even sure where the base plate's at. The spring is still wrapped around the uh, test fixture. But yeah, this side here doesn't look too bad until you look at the uh, very top of the receiver. And it's split all the way down the. Uh, Top of the pick rail there. You see it all the way into the uh, front of the receiver. It bowed the receiver out. I don't know how well you can see that, but it bowed that. It broke the uh, bolt catch. Just the button off of it. The button is still there. Did find that. Uh, seems like it's still functional. Just missing the button. And the. Uh, bolt is stuck rearwards so we'll take apart the uh we'll take the buffer tube off and try to get the bolt out and see what it looks like all right we got her apart the uh the lower kind of bolts a little bit and the magwell you can see it's a little larger than it was not bad though it still takes a i can still put a p mag in it and it holds it got the bolt out the bolt is destroyed. It flared the end out here. Uh, broke the bottom of it off. So yeah, that's completely worthless now. I think the only thing that might be good in it now is the firing pin and uh, even the spring for the uh, extractor's gone. Yeah, so more than anything, I just wanted to see what would happen if you used pistol powder in a AR. Because I've heard they're strong, but yeah, you probably would have gotten hurt shooting this. I don't think it would have killed anybody. This piece here is off of the uh, upper receiver. It landed about 50 feet away from the gun, like straight behind it. It uh, shot back pretty good. That might have got you in the face. But yeah, the rest of it is, the rest of it's, the whole upper is gone. But the lower is, uh, we can work with it. The sight mark optic still works, believe it or not. It's... Turn it on.
There it is. Yep. Sight mark still works. So we'll do another video with it. We're going to torture test that just to see what it will take. We're going to strap that to the Desert Eagle. Put up 100 or so rounds to it. Then we're going to strap it to a 460 Smith & Wesson and probably a 500 Smith & Wesson. We'll do some other tests with it. We'll freeze it. Uh, we'll heat it up. Just play with it see what it takes to actually stop it. All right, so what you saw there was a catastrophic failure. It was it was bad. Um, I would hate to see somebody holding that gun with uh, the wrong charge in it. We did use, uh, normally I use CFE 223 in my 223 loads. I love that powder. I love the whole CFE line. But we use CFE pistol instead. But just make sure you grab the right powder. Make sure when you see your load data, make sure you have the right powder. Make sure you have the right primer. Make sure you have the right charge. Double check and triple check your charges. You can get hurt really bad if you don't know what you're doing. It's not something to play around with. And if you learn anything today or like what you saw, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you guys next time.